video number two back at it again. So the more information I tell you. Now, like right around 2016, they started doing all this opping around Seattle, Washington, these wiring everything up. Some of these units, if you guys move into any of these units in the state of Washington, that's why I told you, you guys can come out to my house. You guys can, you guys can come here, you guys can hang out, you can just figure out like, okay, is this nigga lying to me or not? I'm not crazy, I'm not lying. Come here, come check it out. I'm gonna show you how these feds, how these police are working. They're working very dirty, they're dirty. So they already off my cell phone, my cell phone's off. So they talk to my cell phone, they talk to, they talk to my laptop. So it's the new iOS they, they release. So the feds and the FBI, the military, they have special equipment for, uh, special equipment for like terrorists and shit like that. They're supposed to be using equipment for terrorists. But what they're doing is they're, they're these guys right here, they're doing investigations and they're interrogating people. So these guys here in the state of Washington, these feds, these, this new organization of people, whether this new cult, whatever it is, they're, what they're doing is they're opting people's houses. So the setup they have is like a mental health setup. So if you call the police too much or the FBI too much, what happens is they, they get prepared to put you guys on mental health and they're gonna start arresting you guys. And they're gonna try to find a way to assassinate you, kill you, or run you guys out the state of Washington. So this is why people say gangs or gangs are important or um, uh, having some type of organization like religious organization or a group of friends or family members. Having groups are, are, could, could be a benefit and it could be a problem. Um, what you could run into is a group of people lying to you, going to your church, your church lying to you. That happens sometimes. Going, maybe having a group of friends, they lie to you or having a group of friend members lie to you. Especially the police. I have a, a lot of police officers and FBI agents have been lying to me. I've been catching them on a lot of stuff. I got an inspection on the house and this dude from Comcast, he came here and he did the inspection. He said it's the police that are doing that, they did that to the house. See, he has to take all the equipment out the walls. So if you've been riding the bus, the metro bus, and your ears hurt, that's actually, that's actually the uh, police. So I think when a new governor came in here is when they started installing all this stuff around the state of Washington. So you guys got to watch out. They started building these cults and these groups to go out, to go out and snitch on you guys. So what I'm trying to let you guys know is it's not a good idea to fuck with the police unless you guys are getting paid. So if these guys have your any of your apartment units op, if they try to op your houses, that means wire any equipment in your houses, they're supposed to be paying you guys. And the equipment's supposed to be installed a certain way. It's not supposed to be installed for them to be able to hack and monitor you. So the way this, this house is op and the way that they install this equipment is monitoring everything I do. So they monitor so the, the, the operating system for my cell phone. If you go to Metro PCS, I don't know if they're putting it on some people's cell phones or everybody's cell phones, but it's like they're giving full control to like the government, the police, and the FBI. You might want to watch out because it's against the law for these guys who put this on your cell phone. So they're, it's, it, they're able to steal uh, money out of our bank accounts. I've had money missing on my bank accounts more than a few times. Um, I have money missing on my bank accounts. They're talking through my TVs. So the way that they opt the house, they, they're able to talk through the cable. They're able to talk through my Xbox. They're able to talk through my laptop. So I'm in IT. I'm going to school for networking and from the vision, I'm going to school for programming too. So I'm almost finished with, I'm almost finished with my associates in college. So I'm not going to tell you no bullshit. I'm going to give you facts. Um, facts and from, uh, from my experiences. So What's gonna happen is you should not be fucking with the police unless they're giving you pay, pay, paying you money. Uh, if you live in any of these units, they're gonna be doing an investigation on you. So if you're moving out of this part, step out of a part of uh, Washington that's not opt, um, and you're moving into Seattle and you find a unit and you hear weird voices in your house or you hear weird, uh, weird things in your TV, that means your house might be op by these uh, federal FBI agents and these police officers. So this organization, they came here, they're stealing money, they're lying, or cases, they're arresting people, they're incarcerating people, and they're running people out of the state. Uh, if if the, if you're ever if you're ever working with the police or anything, they're supposed to give you paperwork. These are contracts. So a contract looks something like this. Uh, you get you get a contract, and make sure you always have a lawyer. Make sure you always have some type of officers with you. If you're ever working with the police, make sure you have 
make sure you have witnesses so make sure you always have some type of witness an fbi agent police officer uh you have lawyers and you have contracts it's the paperwork so if they ever fuck you over you can show them this paperwork and you have evidence that they fucked you over you're not supposed to have anything installed on your phones you're also supposed to have two phones yeah you, you always have two phones so one phone the way they set you up you have two phones okay one phone is the police the other phone is your regular phone this phone is a bad operating system this this phone every contact that goes in this phone they'll be able to see every contact that's in this phone they'll be able to tap everybody with this phone whatever phone you're using you should have two cell phones one for setting people up the other for cell phone for not setting people up two laptops one for setting people up the other one for not setting people up now you're going to need to have two apartments the way to see how far they're going you have one apartment to set people up the other one not to set people up the way that they're setting people up is you move into these units these guys start doing investigations on you they start sending these codes at you guys or these group of snitches and they try to use you guys against each other they don't want to pay you guys any money they want to give you guys like you know small small lump sums of money but they're not they're supposed to be paying you guys hourly they're supposed to be giving you guys training and they're supposed to be teaching you guys in law now if they taught you guys the law they wouldn't be working with you guys like this so this is against the law this whole thing this whole project is against the law there's laws that are supposed to prevent police officers from opting our houses uh laws that are supposed to prevent police officers from arresting us uh laws that are supposed to prevent them from coming onto our property so these guys are building cults they're lying and they're run, trying to run people out the state they're fighting people for real estate killing people assassinating people's kids they're they're building these satanic cults um, and these guys are, you know, doing all this weird satanic stuff and setting people up and sending them to psychiatric hospitals. You're not really, you're not, you guys aren't hearing voices. They're, they're, they have equipment installed on the bus. They have equipment installed in this house. They're lying. I don't have any mental health problems. They'll say you guys have mental health problems. So this is what I've been going through for five years. Officers showing up to my jobs. Officers telling me to move out the state. They have military and FBI there. They're installing equipment in the house. And they're telling me to move out the state of Washington. I should have a case on these guys. So the best the best choice is if, the, if any of these officers um, are harassing you, if you have any equipment, it's a good idea to keep track of this, keep track of everything that's going on. You have you have my email or my information. If you give me an address of any um, places that you know that are up, let me know. You can send me the address. It's a good idea to build a contact, a list of people that think that they're snitches and convince the people that think that they're working with the police. So you want to profile these guys to stay away from these guys because the police are manipulating these guys and making them think that they're police officers, make them think that they're working cases. If an officer can't get into your group, what do they do? They use stitches to get into your group and they lie you guys out. They give you guys bad software, they give you guys bad equipment, and these guys try to fight you like a military. So you're actually fighting a military that is an expert at setting you up and they're fighting you in a dirty way and there's laws that are supposed to prevent them from touching your cell phones, your laptops, your residence, your equipment. They're not supposed to be opting cell phones, apartment buildings. The way that they opt your apartment buildings and the way that they installed your internet and cable, they're able to monitor your television. They're able to monitor your internet. They're able to monitor your cell phones. They can see what you're doing on Facebook on your cell phones. They're able to see what you're doing on your TV, they're able to see what you're doing in your laptop. So you guys have to watch out. These guys are illegal. You guys have to watch out for this. So they're making money off of this software and off of this equipment. And their groups are trained to lie. So they're supposed to be part of some new satanic religion or some new cult. These guys came into the state of Washington in 20, like around 2015, 2016. And they just started fucking up the state, installing their equipment and trying to recruit me. They try to recruit me to... A satanic cult. I was at the Bellevue Club and they tried to recruit me to a satanic cult. They can hear me right now. The equipment's opt in the house. I'm not going to tell you a lie. And you know, the equipment's installed at the church. These guys are thinking they're making a million dollars. It's going around setting people up, but they have no contracts. You know, these guys are lying. They're lying me out. We have no witnesses. We can't use evidence in the courtroom. So these guys have, you know, a military, FBI, and police and a cult that they're hiring to set me up and keep me unemployed. So you guys might go through a period of being unemployed until they hire a new government or until they hire a new FBI, police, and military because what they're doing here is setting people up. They're putting stuff on our phones. It's not supposed to be on our phones. You know, the iOS, that iOS is the operating system for your cell phone. They also have one for Android. So if you move into any of these apartment units, you will be out. They will be doing background checks on you. So it's like doing, if you've been staying in that residence for five years, it's like a five-year investigation. 
now you have to watch out for your friends because some of these people have this equipment in their house. So it's like being enslaved almost, you know? You guys have equipment in our houses and our apartment units. Um, you guys are talking, you know, it's like a big ass radio. They have radios in our walls, it hurts our ears. They have the same equipment at our job, it hurts our ears. They have the same equipment on the bus, it hurts our ears. So, you know, the, it's like you're constantly monitoring everything that we're doing. We don't need your government, your police, your FBI to monitor what we're doing because you're, you guys are obviously credit card Friday. You're stealing money from our bank accounts and there's supposed to be laws that prevent that from happening. You know, you're not supposed to be overseeing everything that we're doing. I don't need you to oversee what I'm doing. You guys aren't following the law anyway. You got a law, you guys are lying our cases. So why do we need you guys here? You know, so they need to hire new FBI, new police. If you, ever, if you don't know what an op house is or a trap house is, come to the house. If you ever connect your phone or your laptop, if you came from another state and you connected your phone or your laptop to this house, more than likely they have hackers sitting in the office somewhere trying to figure out how to hack your laptop or your cell phone, and these are feds. They're stealing your bank account information. They'll be stealing your Facebook information. They'll be stealing your email information. Next you know, some next you know they tell you to download an app on your cell phone and now it's on your cell phone. Now you gotta throw away that cell phone, go back to the state you went to, get a get a fresh cell phone because it has a good clean operating system so these officers can't tap into your cell phones. So it has a lot to do with uh you know bad feds, it has a lot to do with dirty ass feds. You know, they're making a lot of money, they're trying to make multi-million dollars off of installing this equipment into our schools, installing this equipment into our high schools and colleges, installing this equipment into our jobs, installing this equipment in our houses. And these guys are interfering our lives. They're trying to find a way to enslave and monitor and keep track of us when we don't need to be enslaved, monitored, and we don't need you keeping track of us. You know, they can hear me right now. It's not a good idea for these guys to do this. You know, they're trying to find ways to get real estate and run people out the state at the same time. You should never give all the control to your government or to your police, to one government or to one organization of police officers. There should always be equal control. You get what I'm saying? And this is the fucking problem right now is that these guys are constantly hacking. They're constantly talking through our cell phones, constantly interrupting our music. And when you contact the FBI agent, you're supposed to contact the FBI. When this happens, first you contact the police, then you contact the FBI. If the FBI, the police, then you have to contact your military. If that's not happening, contact your government. So I've contacted every branch so far. I've contacted the police, the FBI, the military, and the government. And I've had no luck with getting this stuff unassaulted at the house or getting a case on these guys for harassing me and for sending me to jail. Um, for, you know, for lying my cases and sending me to jail. So these guys are lying a lot. These guys are lying a lot. If you hear any rumors about me at all, it is a lie. These guys are using cults to lie. So these guys are paying people. They're sitting in office buildings. They're paying people with no high school diplomas or just high school diplomas with no with no experience in law at all. You know, you're supposed to be taking you're supposed to be taking pictures. You're supposed to it's supposed to be evidence. Uh, there's supposed to be arrest. And there's supposed to be paperwork. So if there's a, if there's an investigation, there should always be paperwork on that investigation. If there is if there is drugs or anything involved, there should always be pictures and videos to back up that evidence along with witnesses. You guys can't get away with arresting people and lying people out with a group of liars. This is why they like to build satanic cults for groups for certain groups of militaries, for certain groups of feds, for certain groups of police officers, for certain organizations because they get away with arresting people, they get away with lying people, and they get away with killing and assassinating people. This is why it's good to keep your kids at home. This is why back in the day you used to have gangs, or you have organizations, or religious organizations, because they know how to talk to government, they know how to bring in officers, military, feds, and police to do investigations on this organization of feds, police, and military. You have to watch out. Some people aren't from the same religion from you. Sometimes people aren't in the same organization. So these are laws. There's laws here in the United States that these guys have to follow. They're not following these laws. So under these, because you did not follow these laws, there's always an arrest. There should always, there should always be an arrest on these guys. These guys should be losing their jobs. So you guys need to watch out. Watch out for your kids. Watch out for your friends. They're bringing people in the back of offices and telling them to rat out their family members. Why should I rat out my family members, sit my family members out, or sit out my friends? 
You get what I'm saying? You won't have a place to live. You won't have a group of friends. And you're not going to pay me $40,000, $50,000 a year. If they should always work out deals. If, if a group of police officers ever wants you to be a snitch for the feds, the police, or the military, they need to tell you these are the reason why. You need to know what type of project you're working with. You need to know what type of group they're working with. They should always be training. They need to show you how to work investigations. They need to show you. They need to show you how to get evidence. How do you how do you get evidence? When is it okay to make an arrest? Can you make an arrest, or do you need to call an officer to make an arrest? How do you set somebody up? If you're setting somebody up, there's a proper way of setting somebody up. You cannot lie. You're not supposed to go around killing and assassinating people. Okay, so make sure you know what you're doing because these guys will play you and you'll be in a psychiatric hospital for the rest of your life or be in a jail for the rest of your life on medication and these guys can't kill you in those jails. So you guys have to watch out, you know, and they'll cover up the whole case. So make sure you guys know who you're working with. If you ever work with a group of police officers or feds and they want you guys to snitch, never mention a satanic cult or ever tell you to snitch out your family or kill your, friend, uh, kill your friends or snitch out your family members or if they ever want you to join a satanic cult. Make sure you call a FBI agent or a police officer. If they're not working, keep track of what's going on. Because there's something weird going on here in the state of Washington. There should always be contracts. There should always be paperwork. I'll show you, or you'll be doing electric contracts. Electric contracts. So, which will be over the internet. Make sure you always have somebody as a witness so they know what's going on. Make sure people aren't lying about you. If people start lying about you, start keeping pictures of them, start keeping photos of them, start gaining their addresses. So because now you have to start doing investigations on a group of people that are harassing you, lying you out, trying to send you to jails, psych psychiatric hospitals, keep track of them. Make sure you get their pictures, their photos, their faces, and their addresses. Start sending that out to the government. So you have to send out to, so the, the police in your state aren't working with you. Then, if the government you say not work with you, you never have to move. You can always contact FBI, you can always contact police, you can always contact um, military from other states, and they can do an investigation. They can move in on these guys. It's not hard for them to either take their jobs, get them fired or arrested, or set up another office building. Now, when they target individuals, you have to watch out. Somebody already got shot, and this guy didn't have a gun. I knew this guy. He didn't have a gun. The police chased him down, they shot him, and they killed him. You guys have to watch out. They have the equipment installed in the jail. I got arrested. The same equipment that's installed in the house is installed in the jail. The same equipment that's installed in some of these businesses is installed in the house. And I thought it was weird because I go to a jail, you know, and I come back out, and it's worse. I noticed that all the wall, the whole house is up now. I was in the jail for like six to eight months, and I came out, and the whole house was up. So they lied. They sent me to a jail. I came out, and the whole house was up. I'm working, I'm working at jobs, so coming back home, I'm noticing there's a lot of construction on the house. This is why I'm, you know, working my jobs. And, you know, I just got out of my internship, and so I'm working in IT for a little bit. I'm coming back home, and I'm noticing that the house, they're, they're adding pieces to the house. And I'm noticing people are able to talk through my internet. Why are you able to talk to, talk to me through my laptop? So, you know, you guys are going to have to either move out your units, or you guys are going to have to keep track of what's going on. And you guys are going to have to start sending these guys to a prison because it seems like these officers are trying to work with the state and it seems like they're trying to find ways to get you guys assassinated and move you guys out to the state of Washington and move you guys out to other areas. And it looks like you guys are still moving into areas that are up. So every house and apartment that I've been to so far has been up. So they're trying to use us as stitches. Not only trying to use you as stitches, they're monitoring everything that you guys are going to be doing. So it's not good. Do not work with these guys. Keep complaining. Keep track of what's going on. Always ask if it's your government. Always ask for new government. It's your police, your military, FBI. Always ask for new police, military, and FBI. We don't want these operating systems on our cell phones. We don't want their equipment in our houses. We don't want them talking to our kids. We don't want them talking to our friends. We don't want to be a part of these organizations because these are dirty police officers. These are dirty feds. These are, this is a dirty military. Then it's a dirty government. Then we don't want to be a part of it. Because, I mean, where is the law? They should be getting arrested for hacking our cell phones. We got people getting arrested for doing credit card fraud in Atlanta. We got people getting arrested in California and in Washington right now just for hacking. And your officers, your FBI, your military, your government, whoever, whoever it is, you guys are not getting in trouble for hacking. We're, we're, you know, we're putting reports and nothing's happening. We're putting reports and nothing's happening. So keep track of what's going on and send it out to a government. 
and always build you a nice group of friends that aren't going to be ratting on you, that aren't going to be stitching on you and selling, selling your information to a group of officers that aren't in your best interest or not in my best interest. Keep your information confidential. Whoever's stitching on you, make sure you snitch on them. If anybody's ever snitching, it's because they're either being paid by the police, they're a hater, or because somebody is snitching on them. It's always a reason why somebody is snitching. Make sure if somebody stitches on you, make sure you stitch on them too and don't fuck with them. And it's simple as that. They snitch on you, snitch on them. They snitch on you, snitch on them. And there you go. Now you guys are building an investigation on them. So keep these guys out of your house. Keep them out of your families, man. And tell them, tell them fuck you, man. And that's it.